like to very warmly welcome you to the 2015 Float Conference. Everyone sitting in this room is witnessing what can only be described as an exploding industry. There's no denying it. No matter where you look, all you can see are the signs of the float industry becoming larger and larger. There are more float centers opening every day, bigger centers with more float tanks. There's bigger media happening and press on floating with bigger news outlets and wider reaches like Nightline and Time Magazine. Health departments are writing float tank specific code. Groupon called us asking for a booth, not the other way around. <laughs> There's a float clinic and research center that exists now. When you put this all together, there is one clear message, that this industry is experiencing incredibly rapid proliferation. Or to put it more succinctly, shit's going crazy. <laughs> In 2010, a man named Mark Frickle put on what he called the Float Summit. This was the first gathering of the float industry in two decades. There were 20 people in attendance. There are 470 people sitting in this room right now. Think about that for a second. Yeah. 470 people. Think about what that means. You might be thinking, man, I wonder how Ashgon managed to print, cut, and alphabetize 470 name tags. <laughs> it took a long time. Thanks for noticing. Next, you might be thinking, man, that Ashgun guy, you really killed it with those name tags. Thanks, don't even mention it, it's no problem. <laughs> but when you keep thinking about it, what you start to realize is that the float industry still isn't really that huge of an industry. If I were to make a generous guess, I would say there's probably somewhere around 1,000 float centers around the world. 1,000 float centers and 470 people sitting in this room. That means that there is a huge percentage of the entire float industry sitting in this room right now. This is not something that happens often. Industries of our size usually do not have events this big, and industries much larger than us are so huge that they can only get a small portion of themselves into one room. And it's not just the number of people that are here, it's who those people are. The people running those booths outside, they're not salespeople from some local branch, they're the actual manufacturers of these float tanks. The people speaking here on stage are not representatives of some large corporate conglomerate. They're the owners and operators of their float centers. The majority of people who are doing work in pushing forward flotation, the majority of the movers and shakers are all sitting in this room right now. All the people here at this conference, all of you, we're the ones making the decisions on where this industry goes. And we all get to spend the next two days with each other, learning, discussing, sharing, and partying. There's a real opportunity here, and I challenge you as you go through the next two days to grasp that opportunity. Work together. Share information with each other. Help each other out. Let's take this opportunity to show the world that business doesn't have to be cutthroat and competitive. Let's show people that you can get further in the world with generosity than you can with greed. Let's show people what a better industry looks like, an industry that is as giving and as fulfilling as the float tanks themselves. Because it's while it's easy to look around and be excited for how widespread floating has become and feel happy about the attention that it's finally getting, if I know the people in this room like I think I do, then we're just getting started. Welcome to the conference. Yeah.